So a lot of you guys have trouble beating the meta decks. Spiral, Altergeist, Salaman Great. And to be quite honest, if you can't beat any of the last two decks I mentioned, you suck at this game. But thankfully for you, your boy Trip is here to save the day. If you can't beat Altergeist, there's a reason. It's because you're not side decking properly. If you can't beat Spiral, it's because, again, you're not side decking properly. That's what this video is for. It's to teach you guys how to side properly and what to side. With that being said, if you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. Check out the beautiful Trip Gaming playmats up above. And if you love Pendulums, consider checking out the Patreon down below. We have Trip Gaming memberships. We talk about Pendulums all day. Let's get started in the video. We have the bonus side cards here. I will describe how to side them correctly and the method behind them and like the game plan behind siding them and the decks that could play it as we go on. But it will be a top five format video. So the bonus that didn't crack the top five is evenly matched all right now this is obviously a broken card and some people put this as like a top two top three card maybe in the side deck but it, it could be stopped right so when you face spiral and you put you activate evenly matched they're just going to negate it with trigate now if your deck cannot bait out a trigate and then use evenly matched, your deck sucks to be honest so, you do want to try and negate the Trigate first. For example, use Desires, Trigate, Negate, Evenly Matched. If that's the case, if you could get the Trigate to negate it, if you're playing a deck that has cards that must be negated, for example, you guys know I play Instant Fusion now in my Pendulum deck, so I will use it, they'll negate it with Trigate. Or I use Desires or Blue Boy, whatever, they'll negate it with Trigate. If they negate some, if you do something to negate with Trigate and then Evenly Match, Evenly Match now bumps up to like a number two or number three. But simply because you need to draw another card in conjunction with the evenly matched, I decided to cut it out of the bonus. That's how good the top five cards are. Next, also just out of the bonus, is Mystic Mine. Super underrated this format because you just activate the Mystic Mine and it forces the opponent to try gate. And if not, they just win. If we're talking about Spiral Boards. Mystic Mine is very underrated right now. At least it's an instant negate. And I, I'm a big fan of Mystic Mine, this format. Helps clear a spiral board very easy as a must negate or must pop or whatever. So I'm a fan of those two, but they don't crack the top five because you need other cards in conjunction with them in order to be good. Now, number five. This card is not specifically good for spiral, obviously, but for the decks that it's used against, it is outright an auto victory, and that is Denko Seka. Now, a lot of trap decks obviously will have solemn judgment, obviously, but Danko is one of those cards that outright win you the duel. Now, you're going to notice something in this top five list that there are a few cards that need to be normal, that require your normal summon, whatever it may be. But for those decks, there are other options like Denko Seka. But with Red Reaper going to one, that's why you guys have a problem with Altergeist. He's not signing correctly. You're probably signing Cosmic Cyclone or some garbage like that. Why the hell are you signing for a one for one when they were just Cosmic Cyclone, like your one card, anyways? Does that make sense? So if you're playing Pendulum, for example, and you're signing Cosmic Cyclone, you're a moron. Because they're just going to, uh, like, they're going to, the one card you're going to Cosmic Cyclone, they're going to use on your card, on your card anyways. That makes sense? So you use one for one. You don't even plus with Cosmic Cyclone. But if you go Denko Seka, normal summon, just like that, all their, all their traps are done. All their floodgates are done. If they're going to solve Judgment, that's fine. They are 4,000 life points, you're playing Pendulum. Pendulum summon two damn Mighty Masters attack for game. Like... Let them solemn judgment you. That's totally fine. You'll OTK their ass. Now, if you can't OTK them, that's totally fine as well. Because leading on to the next card, Lightning Storm. Lightning Storm, incredibly underrated right now. Well, I shouldn't even call it underrated because everyone knows the value of it. There's a reason it's so damn expensive. It is so damn good. Destroy all the back row, just like evenly matched. But this gets rid of all the floodgates. An issue evenly matched is you're facing a floodgate deck. They could keep the one floodgate stopping you. And just like that, you could still lose. But with Lightning Storm, all of them are gone. So it, it is very powerful in that regard. You can activate two of them, main phase one. You can still have your battle phase. And evenly match your Pendulum is a little unfortunate because you're going to use your draw cards to draw into it. But you already have like all Servant and stuff on the field. Lightning Storm and Denko Setup, broken. So I recommend if your deck could do it and you, you can't beat Altergeist, side six of these plus red. That's too much. Side in your favorite between Lightning Storm or Denko Seka. If, you're, if your uh, deck doesn't need a normal summon, Play, light, play Denko. If the normal summon is important, play Lightning Storm. And you add on a, a red reboot on top, and you just auto-win whatever deck you play 
that focuses on trap cards. Next, the next three cards are specifically there's reason why it's one, two, or three. This whole format, if it doesn't die to Lightning Storm, Red Reboot, or Denko, it dies to the following the next three cards. I think backer decks are the freest match ever. A lot of you have problems dealing with Solemn Strikes or whatever as all, as Pendulum players. You're just not playing correctly. Alter Geist is free. Subterra is free. Selamangre is free. All these decks suck. They don't actually do anything. They can't even clear a Chronograph Sorcerer that you Pendulum summon. They can't do shit. Uh, so you're playing incorrectly. Hence, which is why all these cards, even though they're so good, Lightning Storm Denko, I'm not putting past number three because you're only using them for the bad decks. Now we're going to go to number three. And that is Kaijus. I cannot begin to explain right now how good Kaijus are this format. If your deck can afford the extra slots, play Kaijus. Kaiju is sleeper. If your deck cannot clear a Trigate and, a, and an Appaloosa for like three with five cards in hand and you still have your normal summon, you, you're playing the wrong deck, bro. There is not one hand with Pendulums where I'm... Access, or I have access to five cards in my hand, and all I gotta deal with is an Appaloosa that gives me a zone and a Tricate. There's no way I don't just win. There's no way I don't ODK their ass. So, the beauty of Kaijus as well is that if you're playing Pendulums, Reflection, bounce back at Kaiju. Uh, Vortex, bounce back at Kaiju. There's lots of synergy involved there, and you could still use your normal summon. I can't even decide for myself if I should put Kaijus at two or three. But Kaijus are very powerful in this format because you can save your normal summon and clear the sleeper. And if sleeper's gone, the spiral board is absolutely nothing. You can clear that in your sleep. Leading us to number two, which is Lava Golem. You're going to notice a, a uh, pattern here. Lava Golem clears the whole board. Because if you Lava Golem, a, uh, the Appaloosa and the sleeper, Trigate's dead as well. Now you don't have your normal summon, but you have five cards to deal with no interruptions. So even though spot you guys have a problem with Spiral, it's because you're not side decking correctly. If you have a problem with Alter, guys, you're not side decking Denko and Lightning Storm. These cards just destroy those decks. And hey, hint, hint, Draw and Lockbird is not in this list. A lot of Spiral players will play Call by the Grave or stuff like that. And you have to hard draw the Draw and Lockbird. All these cards you're going to notice let you draw into them. I'm not putting Jewel in here. Droll wouldn't be in, in the in the bonus, but a lot of you guys would have been like, "What this guy's a moron." I pick Mystic Mind. I pick evenly over Droll, and Mystic Mind is equal to Droll to me in this. As long as you play a pe from a Pendulum perspective, if you're looking at it from another, if you're playing another deck, fine. But in Pendulums, you put way too many draw cards to draw into another hand trap, and then it'll just be dead for you. You can play one Droll if you want to search it with Abductor. Aside from that, don't even play it. Just play cards you could draw into. I am aware that they could stack your deck with drones, but you play 10 different draw cards. So you would search something and then draw. So and if, if they're if they stack your deck, that means that and you look at their face, they're gonna be oh they're gonna see sphere mode, they're gonna put sphere mode as a third card. No problem. Drop for a turn. So that means you know sphere mode is the second card. Does that makes sense. Big brain them. A lord darkness? Draw two. You guys see the logic there? Like you already know where the card is. You're gonna look at their face, right? Now, th those are the top, uh, fifth, fourth, third, second. First is Sphere Mode. Sphere Mode, as I said, there's a pattern here. Sphere Mode, Lava Golem, and Kaijus. These three cards stop the three best decks, the best decks in the world right now. It stops Spiral and it stops Pendulums. You don't got to worry about the other cards. The, in your side deck's 15 cards, right? So you put in three Sphere Mode, three Lava Golem. Side it for every Spiral deck, every Pendulum deck. You draw one and you win. The other decks suck, they don't do anything. The other decks you're facing, let's add Luna Light. You put it in there for Luna Light as well. And now the other decks you're facing is going to be Altegeist, Subterra, and Salamangre. Garbage. Lightning Storm, Denko Sekka. Good game, sir. See you never. Because I'm not, you're going to be table 500, I'm going to be table 1. So, like, just like that, the whole side deck there takes up the entire meta and destroys the entire meta. The only problem is you guys aren't siding correctly. You guys are siding stuff like. I'm going to sign a Cosmic Cyclone for a deck that sets 5. What the hell are you doing to live 4 cards, bro? Cosmic Cyclone is the most useless card to side deck. I'd, I'd rather you side deck cards that just, just outright destroy them. Because what's the point in side decking at that point when the, if you're signing a 1 for 1, it doesn't do you any good. If your deck does play hand traps I would t and you needs the normal summon, so obviously you cannot play Lava Golem, Sphere Mode, or Denko Seca. So if your deck is like Salamangrape, then I would advise the top 5 would be completely different. But... 99% of, of all you guys are Pendulum players, so this is from a Pendulum perspective. 
Now, if you do play a deck that requires a normal summon, I'll take out Serumo Lava Golem and the Lightning Storm, or sorry, the Denko Saga, for all hand traps. All hand traps, hand trap galore. But we only play good decks, hand traps are for pussies. So a Pendulum Pass deck, hope you guys like this video. If you guys like the video, smash the thumbs up button, smash the subscribe button. Consider getting yourself a Trip Game Playman up above. There are only 15 left by the time I'm making this video. And check out Trip Game Membership down below. And hope you guys have a good day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.